What's up guys? I've been out of, uh, out of commission for a few days. Like the flu, been throwing up on the toilet, it's been miserable. Managed to do a little something I picked up on uh, Saturday. Get into the little slow sentimental shots and I'll, I'll be back this week guys, promise. So stay tuned. What's up? We here. We got them. A little late, but you know me, I don't pay full price, I wait for sales. The Nike sock dot in the medium gray colorway. This right here. Let me get that. This shoe right here. Is one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn in my life and no I have never worn a DS Ultra Boost I'm a Nike guy I'm not saying I'll never own one but for 180 I will never own one but these right here I don't know what it is about them I think they look so good on feet I'm gonna get into those in a little bit but just like the material they use I'll take this it comes with this little cheap thing but like I mean, you can see that it's just so, look how stretchy. Like that is your uh, premium fly knits and uh, sorry, the premium uh, prime knit for like the Adidas and like the Ultra Boosts and the NMDs, like the premium ones. They ain't this stretchy. Like, what does that mean? You're gonna get your money's worth with these. And you can get them, pick them up anyway right now for about 60 bucks, 60 to 70 bucks, which is great deal and I think they look awesome on feet they're one of the most comfortable shoes I ever put on my feet Nike wise I own Air Maxes Jordans every every basically any kind of Nike that's ever been put out I've tried on and I can say these probably are the most comfortable out of any they used to say Roche runs Roche runs are garbage those are the worst constructed shoes I've ever had in my life I had one pair they fell apart within two months the back where the Achilles like right here literally split and like would like pinch it like this it's a plastic back here that would like pinch and it was the worst thing ever the bottoms for the Roshis run they wear out quick this is the real deal like I don't know if you can see the grip on these that's not rough that's not wearing out it's kind of like a very diesel grip like it's like a mountain boot grip almost but there's nothing to them very light the materials I don't even know what material this is it's just like a it's not flying it, but it's not, well, I don't know. It's soft, sock-like material, sock dot. <laughs> and then they got this little, the only thing I'm, I'm not the biggest fan about is this plastic part. See, like I can't even, it's very hard to get it, to put, take it off, put it on. So once you get it set, I would suggest leaving it. I've actually seen a few people cut this off and I actually think it looks pretty cool. Like it would look like this. Just literally like a NMD or something. But we're not gonna do that here. If you wanna check out, uh, Hess Kicks did that actually. If you wanna go over to his channel and check it out, I'm not gonna put the link in the description, but you guys can find it. But yeah, that's the only thing I must say that's still annoying about these is just this, the way you gotta put these holes into like these big ass nipples gonna fit through these little ass holes which is pretty tough but that's why I say once you get it in there leave it and just slip them on okay there it is I, I like how they had this Nike symbol right here like going vertical so that's a cool little hit they did 
I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Are you guys rocking with the sock dot or the NMD? I mean, if you got to go with price and looks, I'm going with the sock dot all day. Call me biased because I'm a Mickey guy, but you let me know. All right, let's get some on feet going. I'll show you how they look with different type of, uh, with like jeans, sweats, and the zipper pants. So, there you go.